Good morning, everyone. A good tevach. Shavua Tov. We are continuing here in the words of the Chavetz Chaim in the Seder Mrs. Akotzar. And we're holding over here today by the negative commandment, Yud Aleph number 11, Mitzvah Loisa say, There is a negative commandment, not to bow down to avoid the Zara to an idol. Shinema, like it says, The Torah says, Do not bow down to them. Even if this is not the way that people normally serve this particular idol, since that bowing down, bowing down is one of the ways in which we would serve our Kodesh Baruch Hu, if you did it to an idol to avoid the Zorah, you deserve the death penalty through stoning. If you did it amazed, which means you did it knowingly, but nobody warned you not to do it, then you are spiritually cut off. If you didn't realize what you were doing wrong, you're still going to have to bring a korban chatos, a sin offering. So too, if a person shechs an animal, or they throw, or 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 they uh, sprinkle blood, or they burn its parts, or they pour libation offerings on the in front of this Avodah Zorah, since these are things that we would do to our Kodesh Baruch Hu in the Beis HaMikdash when we are able to serve there. So therefore, if you did such a thing to the Avodah Zorah, which you are replicating the service of Hashem to the idol, so then you're going to be chayv, you're going to be obligated to all these punishments. Even if it's not the way that you serve this particular Avodah Zorah, Nevertheless, since for the Jew it's a way of service, so therefore you're transferring the service of Hashem to the service over here of the idol, and you can't do such a thing. And the Allah is that if, a, if somebody tried to force you to do one of these things to an idol, so you have to, and they threaten you, either you, either you do it or we take your life, you have to say, I'm a yid. I serve only HaKadosh Baruch Hu. I won't do anything that even resembles the service of Hashem to an idol, and therefore you have to take me, because I'm not going to do this. Nispaz Let's say that some of your money became scattered. Or let's say you got a thorn in your foot, and you're standing there in front of the Avodah Zorah. So you want to pick up your money, or you want to bend down and take the thorn out of your foot, but if you do you're going to look like you're bowing in front of the Avodah Zarah. You're not allowed to bow down in front of the Avodah Zarah and take them and take these coins. Because it looks like nobody realizes that you're bowing down to pick up the money or that you're getting down, bowing down that you're, you're bending down in order to pull the thorn out of your foot. They see you bowing down in front of an idol, so it looks like you're doing Avodah Zarah. Well, it's not then rather, what do you have to do? You have to turn your back to it or turn to the side of it to make sure that it's clear to everyone that you are not bowing down and serving this idol. This, is, this halacha is something that is followed everywhere all the time. By men and by women, we're all obligated to make sure that we don't do anything that even slightly resembles the is to the prohibition of Avedezara of bowing down to the idols. Have a wonderful day.